welcome back to Cooking with Audrey. Today I'm going to show you how to make a spinach and lentil ragu. We're going to use some fresh spinach from the farmer's market and some black lentils, also known as blue lentils. And to add a little bit of creaminess and flavor, a little bit of nutritional yeast, and for some crunch and fried leeks on top. Not only is spinach one of the first crops we see popping up of the year, but it's a powerhouse of nutrients. In one cup of spinach, there's only 40 calories and tons of vitamins and nutrients. So the first step today is to rinse off the lentils. This way they'll be nice and dry by the time we add them to the pan. So the first thing we're gonna do is mince up our garlic. We're gonna take, we're gonna pluck about three or four cloves off. So you're just gonna pop them out. I like a lot of flavors, so I'm gonna do four. So you're gonna lay it flat, or as flat as you can get it, and just apply pressure with the palm of your hand. And press your palm, and press your weight into it. Now we're just gonna remove the skin. As you can see, the skin peels right off and it's ready to chop. Now we're just gonna mince it up. Gonna run the blade of your knife on it. Since this is gonna be cooked down, you don't have to get it perfect, just enough so that it intermingles with all the other flavors of the dish. Now that we have that minced, we're just gonna set it aside and move on to our leeks. Now we have our leek, and we're just gonna cut off this root part, and to right around where it gets the darker green. Now this is a pretty big leek, not all of them have it. Some of them are much shorter. Next we're gonna take off the outer layer. And if it's dirty, you can give it a wash. Now we're gonna cut it into about half an inch to an inch pieces. Flip it on its side and slice it down and lay them all out in a line. This is gonna make it easy to, to slice. We're gonna take our knife about 45 degrees to the cutting board and work our way around the leek. Once you're at about 90 degrees to the cutting board, you're gonna flip the leek over. This just makes it much easier to cut. And you're working your fingers as you move the blade. Now that we have our garlic chopped and our leeks sliced, we're ready to start cooking. Let's move over to the stove. First, we're gonna turn the burner on and get that pan nice and hot. You can place your hand over, make, you can feel the heat penetrating from the pan. We're gonna add about a tablespoon or two of olive oil. You can measure, I just kind of pour a little in the pan. Now, this next step is important. You really want to get the olive oil hot before you add your leeks. That's going to be the first ingredient. It's going to create legs in the pan. See, right now it's not quite there. So we're going to let it heat up a little bit more. You can tell that the oil is hot by when you tilt the pan a little bit, you'll see the legs of the olive oil streaming down. If it all goes down at once, the pan's not quite there. All right, that's looking pretty good. So we're going to add our leeks now. We're gonna cook the leeks for about one or two minutes until they're translucent. This is because the leeks need a little bit longer to cook and the garlic will burn a lot quicker. All right, now we're gonna take our garlic. We just don't want the garlic to burn, otherwise it'll have that flavor in the whole dish. Cook it for about another two minutes until everything gets a little more translucent and the garlic is a little golden brown. All right, this is looking good. Now we have our black lentils. Stir it. Today I chose to use a dry Riesling. I like Riesling because it adds a little sweetness and body to the dish. You can also use a cooking masala or a sherry wine. All right, our next step is to add some stock. I like to make my own vegetable stock at home. You can also use chicken stock or buy any stock that you find at the store. Um, so we're using three cups of stock today. We're gonna pour that in, bring it to a simmer at about a medium heat, and then reduce it to low and simmer for about 20 minutes. You can 
tea is starting to simmer, so we're just gonna add a little bit of spice, a little bit of sea salt, and a little bit of chili, just so that it cooks in with the lentils. Now we're gonna turn it to low and cook it for about 20 minutes. While that's cooking, we're gonna get the oil going for our fried leeks. We're gonna just use some vegetable oil and we're gonna get it hot, but not boiling, otherwise it's just gonna burn those leeks right away. Not a lot, because they're not gonna be like deep fried, just a light fry on them. So turn that on, probably takes about 10 minutes to get hot, so in the meantime, we're gonna get the rest of our ingredients ready. I have a, I have a little bit of combination of rice flour and a little potato starch in here. So we're gonna just put the leeks in, Next, we're going to take a strainer and just shake off the excess flour. Because we don't want them to be clumpy. It's just a light dusting of flour. Now, our oil is almost hot, but before we get the leeks going in here, we're going to make sure that we have a towel on top of a plate and a nice slotted spoon to take them out. We're just going to dump about half the batch in because we don't want to overcrowd the pot. And if you have a bigger pot, you can put them all in at once. As you can see, they're getting nice and golden now, so we're just gonna take them out with our slotted spoon. Once they start to get a little golden brown, they don't have to be perfect, and just take them out. Okay, there we go. We're gonna just set these aside while we finish up our ragu. All right, now that our leeks are fried and our ragu is about five minutes from being finished, we're gonna chop up our spinach. Since we're using baby spinach, it doesn't really need to be a fine chop. It's kind of just a rough. Sometimes I don't even, depending on the size of the leaves. And for this recipe, I'm gonna use about five cups of spinach, give or take, depending on how much you want in the ratio. Just run your knife through it. And since it shrivels up so much you're gonna to want to use a lot. Okay, that looks about right. So before adding the rest of our ingredients we're gonna to want to try our lentils to make sure that they're cooked but not too mushy. These are looking good. They're al dente and have a really good flavor right now. So we're gonna get our chopped spinach, add it in, and a few other ingredients. I'm gonna cover that for a second, just let it melt down. Now that we have our spinach in, we're gonna let it cook down and melt a little bit for about just a minute. We're gonna fold it into the lentil so that all of it gets dispersed around. Just gonna mix it in. And this will cook pretty quickly. Now that we have our spinach folded in, we're gonna add a squeeze of about a half a lemon. I just place my hand under, make sure that I don't get any of the seeds in there, otherwise it'll be a little bit bitter. We're gonna add about a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. This will add a nice creaminess and really bring out the flavor. more salt and chili. Gonna stir it in. And you don't want the spinach completely cooked down, otherwise it's just gonna dissolve in there. Once we have that all stirred in, we're just gonna taste it, make sure all the flavor profiles are on. tasting really good. I think we're ready to plate. And this is great as a side dish or a main course. You can always fry some tofu on top, make it a little heartier. And we're just going to top it with some fried leeks. I love the leeks because they add a crunch and a whole other dimension of flavor. And there you go. Another simple healthy dish that is so easy to make and so delicious. Join me again next time for more Healthy Eats.